Yo, what's happening? My camera died, and I filled up the uh, SD card, so I had to go and download my footage. Anyway, yeah, the bugs out here got so unbearable. I don't know if everybody gets them, but we got these, see, these bugs called stink bugs. They're pretty harmless, but if you smash them, they stink. And it's it's an unbearable smell anyway they have completely ruined the outside so I figured I'd give people a very quick um, view of the inside a tour if you will will um, of the trailer so follow me oh I've been vacuuming these bugs and smashing them all day. They're grossing me out. Anyway, yeah, check it out. Hurry up and get in. So, boom. Bathroom. Nothing special. But this is why I think the RV is the perfect tiny home. The television is on something called a televator. It drops down inside that box behind the fireplace. That is an electric fireplace. It does have a nice little light show. You can change the colors. And it actually works extremely well as an alternative to using your propane over here is my pantry so a lot of storage for your supplies kitchen the island with the sink my dinette which has storage under each of the seats and it collapses into a small bed the two Thomas Paine collection extremely comfortable lounging chairs they recline back that way that's a bedroom that's my wife and mine that's our bedroom storage under the bed over here another pantry and there This is a bunkhouse. Right now it has a lot of storage in it. So, as you can see, It's kind of perfect for a tiny cabin and RVs you got to remember they're built to be extremely efficient so you can run this thing on a generator I could actually run this thing on a solar power generator um, mine in particular and it has an outside kitchen uh, mine in particular has a weight of fully loaded it's about 13.5 I want to say 13,500 pounds. I got a single rear axle 3,500 diesel. So I could pull this like it ain't nothing. But um, you got to have the right vehicle, of course. That's the most important thing. It's a lot of people out here got to white knuckle it when they're driving because they're pulling a trailer that their vehicle wasn't made for. 
But anyway, figured I'd give you a quick tour. Show you that uh, you can glamp outside for real. You ain't got to be in a tent if you don't want to. I actually love being in the tents. But the other part about this RV and owning land is that I also found the perfect place to never stop camping so i parked my rv and we haven't moved it since do have plans for buying another one eventually um and going back traveling again but for now trying to figure out some life things and then we're gonna get this land situated and put a house on it um and pop probably use the rv as a guest house or my man cave whatever happens either way thank you for checking me out today uh remember try to learn how to live efficiently also don't spend your money frivolously invest in things that can help you when times are rough these things came in handy during covid the rv comes in handy when someone loses their home everything should have a purpose in your life so just trying to put you up on game about different gear you can use and yes i consider my rig a part of my gear um this is something that i use and my family will use in a case of an emergency and we actually have used in cases of emergency so you know just putting it out there look around give them a shot see what it's like rent one you could do that now anyway i get back to you um i'm debating on packing up and going home so that i could beat some of the traffic tomorrow morning i might leave tonight but uh uh, we'll see where the day takes us. I'll get back at you. Anyway, for now, thank you for visiting. Peace.